news, real issues coming up again and again. Once Solomon has admitted that he is guilty of misleading Nigerian, Nigerians, former member of APC reveals some very troubling, um, not too pleasant stories that we are currently hearing. That he's guilty and is admitting his fault. Now he's not just saying this to journalists, he's saying it on a national TV. And um, all these are stemming from Tinubu's choice of vice presidential candidate. And um, a lot of persons are still not happy with the choice that Tinubu has made. Well, Tinubu does not care to be quite uh, candid and he's saying exactly that that you know with his choice and everything let's get all the details i am guilty of misleading nigerians former member of apc solomon dialogue admits solomon a nigerian lawyer who serves in prison service and as a minister of youth and sport under President Muhammad Buhari's administration, has boldly admitted that he was one of those who misled Nigerians. Solomon, who, after, after leaving from the All Progressive Congress to Social Democratic Party SDP, picked the Federal House of Representative form of the party, made his decision during the interview with Arise TV. During the interview, Solomon, who was one of the foundational members of the ruling of Progressive Congress, condemned the Muslim Muslim ticket which the party has chosen. According to him, he saw the development coming. He added that it was one of the things that influenced his conscience to exceed the party. He noted that when the when they founded APC, the foundational principles include unity and social justice for Nigeria, and their intention was to right the wrong created by the 16 years of the People Democratic Party administration. He added that they all planned to create a society where freedom, liberty of Nigerians will be respected, and they were, and they were driven by the passion to sustain their diversity. However, Along the line, he discovered that justice was first sacrificed and eventually ceased to be the concept within the context of the party operation. Thus, he became apprehensive. He also emphasized on his admittance that he and other members of the ruling of Progressive Congress misled Nigerians, believing, believing what Nigerians are seeing today is not what the party actually promised and stands for. He said that by lying to Nigerians, the party misled them and also is guilty of what is happening now. He recalled that about seven years ago, the People Democratic Party showed light on the APC, saying that APC is a Muslim, Muslim party, speaking on the Solomon. Speaking on this, Solomon said that it is sad that he is alive when the prophecy of the PDP about APC is coming to pass. He admitted that there is no way the party can now deny all the allegations levied against them by the closest op opposition party. He also revealed that the Islamization that was being carried out by Nigeria seemed to be coming true. I am regretting I was part of those who allowed Nigerians to believe. There was an attempt to, 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 susp to suspend a memo that has a religious contest and an overtone that claimed the eventuality that there are some people after the soul of Nigeria. I failed to believe this. I refuse it and I fight, fought against it violently. Apparently, this appears to be true as APC is confirming every bit of it. Do you know what the Northern elite has done? They have gone ahead and has told Tinubu that if he picks a Christian, he would never get their support. Tinubu not wanting to lose the presidency as he is desperate to become Nigerian's president has decided to go the way that he has been promised for him to become Nigerian's president. This is why things are the way they are today. It is painful because I'm one of those who supported this notion. I'm one of those who allowed it to see the light of day. I'm one of those who gave it breath, and it is what it has grown to be.
And that is why I am honorably stepping aside and want the truth to prevail for Nigerians to see for themselves and make the choice. We have made the mistake already by supporting a cause and emotion that is not right. And it is sad that this is happening before our very eyes. I feel very guilty for what I have created. So this is our very own brother Solomon coming up to say he is part of those who created the monster we call APC today. He's part of those who have, you know, enabled APC to see the light of day and is, you know, spreading the course of what is happening. And um, he, he, it is sad, but it is the reality of what is happening. And um, he's talked about how APC party started and all that has been going on, what the party has been up to. Okay, and all that the party has been up to, what the party has been. People are feeling guilty and are coming out to say, oh, this was the portion I played. This was the role I played. This was what I did. I feel sorry. I feel bad. I was part of it. This is my portion. And they're not denying it, okay? They're not trying to deny it. And they're saying, yeah, I, I am responsible for the consequences of what is happening to Nigeria. And today he has joined, you know, another party completely. And he's saying, you know what? Uh, what I did was not acceptable. What I, you know, part of what I've participated on. You know, is what has uh, led the party. And he's speaking in terms of, you know, uh, Shiwajwa made Bolatin, who's uh, running mate. You know, he said when APC started, he told them then that this APC was a, was a, a Muslim party. And they all denied it. They say, no, we are standing on the place of equality, truth, fairness. We are giving Nigerians truth. Apparently, it did not quite turn that way. Apparently, it turned into, you know, a metamorphosis into what some people have in mind. You know, when some things are going on, you think that you have a total idea and a picture of what is really happening, not knowing that the founding fathers or those, there is an undertone to it. And some other things are going on. There is some other turn to it. And, you know, uh, the consequences of, you know, Tinubu's action is sparking up a lot of reactions. And Nigerians are really asking the question, are, are we part of these people? Are we part of them? You see, do, do they really mean well for us? Are they really part of, you know, are they sincere? Are they part of us? What exactly is happening in all of this? So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And um, we wish that all things will become much more clear and better, you know, in the next couple of days, yeah, months and years. And Nigerians have got the opportunity now to choose. Please, let's choose correctly. Let's not choose misfit. Okay, let's choose men and women who are truly and, you know, have a heart for this nation, who truly wants Nigeria to become a better place for all. Okay, these are people who joined the party thinking that they were making a difference. But guess what? It turned out that the difference they thought they were making, they were actually contributing to the problem of the country. And it's coming out to apologize and to say, I am part of it. I made a mistake and I am sorry. Okay, he said, I am sorry. So this is what is happening and why Nigerians, we cannot take with levity, okay, some of the things that are happening. We can't just, okay, we can't just take it with levity and just be quiet. So it is what it is, my wonderful people. It is happening. And uh, what we need to do is for us to rise up and ensure, okay, that things truly change. We need to rise up, okay, and get our PVCs and votes, okay, and vote for the right candidates. If ever our 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 uh, vote ever counts, okay. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.